These days, it is hard to get a table at Potong in Bangkok, but fortunately, we are here this evening. So what we do here is we name our cuisine Progressive Thai Chinese, and the reason why we do Thai Chinese because uh, I grew up in a family that migrates from China long, long time already. So I'm the fifth generation. So my mom's cooking and what I grew up eating is uh, Thai Chinese food, and is not you cannot find this type of cuisine in China. So it's not like a total Chinese food, and it's not fully Thai. So it's like a hybrid between the two. Since you grew up uh, in Thailand, in Thailand, yes. So where you learn the Chinese part, and how you becoming a chef? So when I was young, I always helped my mom cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a housewife, and she likes to do a lot of parties at home, and she's very into cooking. And I think that's why I, I like cooking. And when I was in high school, I loved sports, and I don't like sitting in front of computer and writing or reading. So I guess uh, cooking is. What I like, like the sweat, the adrenaline, everything, and I like to eat. I like to cook for people. When I went to culinary school, I learned a lot French and Western cuisine. Mm -hmm. But the part of Thai Chinese, I learned from my mom. So at home, you mostly you eat uh, Chinese or Thai food or mix Thai together. Chinese, yes. All mixed mix, together. Mixed together, like latna. Latna is a really good uh, example of Thai Chinese dish which now people think is a Thai dish, but actually it's a combine between the two cuisine. Okay, yeah. so how you find the balance? It's a tricky question. Yeah, it is. I mean, there's no like line or like a uh, definition, like a very exact definition of what I'm trying to do. It's all about uh, how I grow up and eating, and I want to portray that in the food. But if you to ask, is it more Chinese or more Thai? I would say it's more Thai. Would you like to share with us about the story of a potong? Yes. So potong, the name potong of the restaurant came from the uh, came from the word putong, which means uh, ordinary. Yeah. And um, it's the name of the pharmacy that used yeah. to be in this building. But now so ordinary. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I used to ask my granddad why his granddad named it putong or potong, and he said uh, he wants the family to be ordinary family and happy. That's what okay. he said. Yeah. Uh, we still does uh, Chinese medicine, but the factory used to be here on the second floor, but now we moved to another location out of Bangkok. So we turned this into a restaurant and an opium bar. And uh, you know, we try, we want, when the guests come, we want to make an experience rather than a meal. So they can hear a lot of the stories about the building, about my family. And we try to keep the original, but Things that we put in that is, uh, we need to adjust, we try to make it modern. So you will see the contrast of uh, modern and antique. Would you like to share a signature dish? Mm -hmm. Because I haven't tried your dish yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, our signature dish that we would never change is the duck, which is the family, uh, family dish. And that one, we put on a lazy Susan, you know, the turning table. Yes. And the reason is because uh, I growing up with a round table and sit in a big family and you know share everything and I want that feeling to have at the end of the meal so that's our signature and the duck itself I use kind of like Chinese technique with the glazing and the coloring but I dry age for 14 days mm -hmm. so I took my own turn on that and then uh, put in the oven for only 10 minutes so inside still pink okay yeah and then another dish is called yin yang noodles so people really love this dish it's like uh, my take on latna the, the dish i told you earlier so it has a broth with morels and caviar so it's my own take and then another one is the crab uh, this one is like a black pepper crab take but you eat on a bread so it's kind of a little bit western mm -hmm. so it's like a toast with black pepper jam and some um, crab roll and mm -hmm. then some crab meat on top something like that the, there's a trend about the new Chinese cuisine, uh, the, the entire greater China area. Oh. And they start to cook Chinese. Oh. I mean, so many so chefs. Like French and Chinese combined? Yeah, so many chefs doing the things like that. Uh, even you say uh, Taihua, just got three star yeah. in Taipei. And uh, Hong Kong, like a Via. So like a Chinese, French, yes. and then... Yeah, but you are like very unique because probably you are the only one with a Thai, Thai Chinese, Chinese. Chinese. Yes. 
since in China we have something like a Sichuan, like French, something、oh. that kind of style. So, how you see this kind of ch- change? I think、uh, this kind of change happens a lot now because people, you know, get to travel a lot,、mm-hmm. and people open for、uh, different cuisines. And when travel, when people travel, including young chefs or or、uh, people in the industry, they take their experience back. And they might, you know, inspire them in how they they want to、uh, portray their cuisine. And I think it's, I don't think it's in, it's a bad thing. I think it's something that very interesting, and I want to see、uh, a fun combination that <laughs> that、uh, come up in the gastronomic scene. But I think it has to be true to how the chef really feel. It's not something that you can pretend or you can. It has to have. A reason of of how, why you do that, and I think every chef has, you know, maybe they learn how to cook French, but they are Chinese, so they combine those two together. How you find the elements of Chinese cuisine here? Maybe it's in your surroundings or actually in Chinatown, a lot of Chinese immigrants stay here since、uh, hundreds of years ago, and all the street food around here in Yawarat Road, the famous one, is. Maybe 90% percent、uh, Thai Chinese cuisine, and、uh, even the the stores or the spice、um, owners are still、mm-hmm. uh, second generation、uh, Chinese people. So we are surrounded with you know a community of、uh, Chinese people who migrate here and become already become Thai. So we are part of like the Ch- Thai Chinese community.